What's going on guys? So tonight I'm going to cook a um, reasonably healthy curry. Uh, I ain't no chef, I ain't no Gordon Ramsay. My dad is a chef, but I haven't really picked up anything from him. But watching his home cooking throughout the years and that, it kind of inspires me to try different stuff. So I've tried to make this as healthy as possible. I will leave the macros on the screen. So here's all the ingredients. The whole thing, so this is for me and Ash. The whole thing, this should do, depends how much you eat, but you could probably do four or five servings, and the whole bill, for all the ingredients, came to 15 pounds 61. Using stuff like ginger, or garlic, tomato puree, coconut milk, lentils, uh, chopped tomatoes, uh, madras spice paste, and we just got some normal pilo rice. We are missing a lentils, Ash. Where's the other lentils? It was in the back. Um, no, I bought two. I thought it was in the back. I've been in the back. What? I've been in the bag. That's right, isn't it? There's nothing in there, bro. That's for that in the car, in the boot. Yeah, maybe, yeah. That's right, isn't it? Oh, at least we've got light. That's right, isn't it? You put your phone on ya? No. You can't see shit. You can't see a fucking thing, bro. Do you know what? We're even really sensible before I come out here. Bring a light? Well, that, yeah. We're checking the receipt to see if there's actually two lentils on there. 12 seconds later. Oh, I bet we haven't bought one. One lentils. <laughs> oh, right, that was good then. Right, so we went to the car to look for lentils that didn't exist. Now I've got to wash my hands because we put them down all the footwell. So, kids, number one thing is wash your hands. No, number one thing is check the receipt first. That too. <laughs> Don't know how we're going to skip all this. <laughs> So the ingredients we are going to use will be listed in the description or probably on the screen. Haven't decided yet. I tell you what I didn't show you was the chicken. One sec. You might see them from my first video, right? But these scales were embarrassing me. You're embarrassing me! So I went and invested in some new scales. These are 15 quid from Asda as well. This is brand new, by the way. We that would have been dangerous. Fuck it. How many sprays was that? 26. We're gonna to have to count them back. I don't want it sticking to the pan, bro. Right, so, we've chopped the onion up. Not the greatest of skills, I know, but I ain't a chef, mate, and I've got the job done, so that's all that matters. So, this is a onion and a half. 128. So now, we're gonna make the sauce. Dripping the sauce, I'm dripping, dripping the sauce, sauce, sir. This is gonna be freehand, I'm not gonna lie to ya, but we will wait. Oh, bro, smell that. So next, we're doing the tomato puree, and obviously we're going on top of the um, curry paste. Then we got uh, fat-free natural yogurt. Again, freehand. And now we can mix it all up. So that is our sauce. Curry paste, tomato puree, and fat-free yogurts. Now, you probably don't need to do what I'm doing, right? But I like to have the whole thing like shaped. I don't like, well, yeah, I don't like having any of the end bit, I'm totally honest. And that is probably wrong. I'm probably wasting a lot. So if you know a better way, please do not take this as gospel. Because I'm probably not right with this. But I like to have mine with no skin on it at all. If you know a better, better way to do garlic, do it your way. Do not copy me. That's ginger. I'm grating my ginger. Don't waste any in there, we'll weigh this as well. I'm not going by any cookbook, I'm doing this all off the... It's 21. 21. 21! <laughs> you stupid! So we've got two cloves of garlic. Not even doing measurements for garlic, we're just going to say two cloves of garlic, right? Got two cloves, oh, that size. But how we're going to do it is we're going to put them in the garlic crusher. Imagine someone cooking with like 30 nails. Oh, so, bro, I bet some chefs, but that's the thing about chefs, right, in kitchens, right? You'd never know if they've got dirty hands or if they've just put, scratched their bollocks or something, you know what I mean? Spread the cut this thing. So what we do first, as we've already put the oil in the pan, we add our onions. And you let them just simmer around. I put it on a, this is a bit of a low heat but we'll put it, whack out one. 
So these are perfect now. Just browned off a tiny bit. And now we're gonna add the chicken. Let me give all of you guys a tip about chicken, right? So I always used to be one of these people that used to wash their meat and wash their chicken. But I recently watched a documentary about why you shouldn't wash chicken. And the reason why is, when you wash chicken under a sink, or under a tap, sorry, when you wash chicken under a tap, the splashback off the chicken contaminates the whole area around the sink and appliances in the surrounding area. Splashback you couldn't even see, so. And that splashback probably won't get cleaned up for days or even weeks sometimes, because you don't know where it's gone. So, it's better just take the chicken in this country anyway, in the United Kingdom, and probably certain parts of Europe and the US, our regulations are so tight that it's probably very low you're gonna get food poisoning just taking it straight out of the back here. I'm a firm believer, always wash your hands after touching chicken, or any meat for that matter. Yo, see if in the group chat argument. This is your garlic and your ginger. So that's pretty much where you want it to be before you add the sauce. So let's do that. Don't worry about buying branded lentils. We only got these because the only ones the ads that we went to had. So lentils are fine. And again, these are the 400 gram ones, all right? Yeah, the lentils. So lentils are high in protein and one of your five a day, and I think they're high in fiber as well. So this is a must, this is good, this is really good. Next we've got chopped tomatoes, mine are with chili and peppers. If you don't do spice, you do not have to worry about doing it, it's fine, just get the normal chopped tomatoes. Again, I've got them as its own brand. I don't worry about spending loads of money. Oh, that's all right. Fine. We wanted loads of splash everywhere, didn't we? But I think one tin might be enough, I think. So what I'm going to do now is put the lid on, leave it on high, leave that for about 15-20 minutes and come back. So it's been simmering for about 10 minutes now. That smells so good now. Two things I would change if I did it again, just to thicken it up a bit, is use Greek yogurt, fat-free Greek yogurt and maybe another tin of lentils if I'm doing this kind of serving again. If you're doing a single serving, just use one tin, it's fine. Two pilau rices. Wow. Homemade, healthy chicken curry. As you can see, there is a shit ton left over. So that can do us lunch and maybe possibly dinner tomorrow, right? So this is the end product. Honest review, come on. To be honest, for a healthy meal, I'm gonna say eight out of 10. Yeah? Yeah, it's banging, it's nice. Yeah. It's too hot, it's full of flavor. It's not too watery, it's good. Would you recommend it? Yeah, I eat it again. I will the next two days probably you've got so much of it <laughs> Kill me! so my first tasting obviously i'm gonna be biased because i cooked it that's a banger in it that's a bang bang meal I've got to say, I'd give it 8.5 out of 10. It was a bit spicy, which I love, but uh, that was from the, um, the tomatoes, the chopped tomatoes with chili. So if you want to avoid spice, new regular chopped tomatoes, I wouldn't have as much rice, I don't think. Make it what you want, man. It all depends on what kind of fits around your shit. So, uh, yeah, enjoy. Let me know how it was. Like and subscribe.